car pieces when hunting up in North Texas on a Saturday night. There was a nice bright full moon, which is not conducive to getting close to hogs. The winds were out of the north and blowing fairly strong at about 12 miles an hour. Spied my first hogs across the creek from this position. And the hogs looked like they were moving south, and so I thought I would parallel and move south as well. Hopefully getting to the low water crossing where I'd be closer to the hogs. So here's my view of the hogs with my IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight. There's no cattle anywhere to be seen, and there's only two hogs. Well, by the time I got down to the low water crossing, the hogs that were there had moved and were heading off in the opposite direction at a high rate of speed. I didn't think I'd hit the second hog, but the first hog I'd hit with my Lone Star Armory TX-15 multi-purpose carbine enhanced, through which I was shooting some Druid Hill Armory Nosler Partition, 125 green bullets, loaded into Starline Brass that had been crowdsourced for me. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. So the one hog down in the open field was the 130-pound boar. After reviewing the video that night, I realized that I'd hit the hog at least twice, so I went back to look for my downed hog. These are just some of the hogs that had been down from previous hunts. And when I looked in the right area, I found my boar coming in at about 150 to 160 pounds. I was greeted by another beautiful moonrise, and then hours of nothing, so I went searching other properties and finally came across this one lone boar that does not have any livestock around it. And this was the most boring of stalks. I used the trees there in the foreground to block its view of me as I made my approach. And I'm at my final position right now, just waiting for the hog to move into the open. All right, here we go. This was a nice little boar coming in at 145 pounds. So did a ballistic analysis and that will be presented in Carpe Analysis, the Trauma Diaries number 31. Carpe sus, my friends.